the Lee Police are continuing their investigation of the assault of the 23 year old woman in Ross Creek on Monday, the 30th of November 2015. Uh, we are still asking the public for further help in identifying the offender. Police are releasing an image of uh, a mannequin uh, of what the victim indicates the offender was wearing, and that includes the black balaclava uh, that the offender wore during the attack. And, um, we are looking for anyone that's, uh, that has seen someone wearing the, the clothing described uh, in, in front of him. Uh, also keen for, to hear from anyone who's seen um, a discarded balaclava of the wider area. We've conducted our search as I discussed last time. Uh, the special search group have moved back to Christchurch, but uh, we're obviously still interested in anything that may have been discarded from our offender. Uh, during the assault, uh, the woman was bound by the offender and police can now confirm that this was done with black cable ties or zip ties, they were variously referred to. Uh, that item is with the ESR at the moment and we are looking at that uh, from a forensic perspective. Uh, obviously we'd like to, with, with now our understanding of what was taken to the scene, we're, we're interested in anyone that may have been carrying a bag or a pack or anything of that nature. Right, uh, we've also spoken to another woman uh, who uh, about two hours prior to her attack time uh, was approached by a man. Um, she has provided uh, an identical um, picture for us of that individual. Um, she believes he was dissuaded from approaching her any clo more closely because of the fact that the dog that was, uh, she had with her came out of the uh, under undergrowth um, at about that time. So she's, she's helped us with a potential sighting of an individual some two hours before her attack. The fact that he's been prepared, um, that he's had with him the items that uh, have been used to, uh, to bind the victim and to make her compliant with him. Um, he's wearing black clothing and he's used violence uh, in, a, in a sexual manner. So yeah, in, in truth we are very concerned and hence we are going to this trouble and we've got a team working on it. We're enlisting the aid of those specialists that I spoke of um, in an attempt to ensure that this doesn't happen to anyone else and that we uh, identify the offender. And we're really insistent that the public, I believe, can help with that in terms of the items like the, um, the cable tie, um, the balaclava, and specifically the skins, which are relatively distinctive. Um, so yeah, that's our, our aim at the moment. Uh, we've gone through a number of uh, persons and spoken to them, uh, people with um, some history with us um, of acts of a, of a like nature. And a lot of them, uh, that work's still ongoing, but a lot of them have been excluded from the inquiry.